you Panthers.tv. Kevin Dexter now joined by assistant coach Sean Lawless following a 97-78 loss for the Adelphi men's basketball team to St. A's. Coach, it was a tough start for your team. You got down to 13 nothing early and made a little bit of a comeback in the first half. Then things got out of hand a little bit in the second half. Now, just your overall thoughts on this one. A tough one defensively, but your offense showed some spurts in this one. Yeah, uh, offensively we were pretty good. Um, defensively we were pretty bad. Um, you know, it doesn't help spotting in 13 points, like you said. Uh, constantly trying to battle back the entire game and, and dealing with runs that way. So, um, you know, some good things we can take away and, you know, a lot of things we got to work on, especially defensively. Well, how do you put a game like this in perspective? When you play well offensively, you put up almost 80 points, you shoot over 50% from the floor, but then on the other end there's so many gaps and holes that you want to look at defensively that you guys didn't do well. Right. Well, St. Anselm's, it's what they do. They're, they're a great offensive team, and we let them come out and shoot 16 threes in the first half. And, they're going to make their threes if they're open. They made 10. So, we, uh, you know, we just got to limit those three-point attempts. And, and that's a that's a lot of the teams in the NA 10 North. Uh, they like to do that. So um, we'll get used to guarding that. And we'll get better at it throughout the uh, conference season here. Well, how about the mindset of your team? On Wednesday against Stonehill, you faced a big deficit. I believe it was 26 in the second half, and you cut it down to six. Mm -hmm. Tonight, you cut it down to single digits as well in the second half before St. A's was able to pull away. Right. Uh, what about the mindset of this team continuing to battle back even though you're facing big deficits? Yeah, we just got to come out ready to play. Um, you know, come out uh, with the intensity that we have, um, you know, halfway through the game. Um, we let Stonehill get out ahead of us. We let that happen again today. And uh, hopefully next game uh, we'll be ready as a, as a unit to, uh, to come out and play. Well, I do want to ask you about one individual, Michael Coffey, 23 points, 9 out of 12 from the floor, knocks down four threes. Really seems to have given this team a big lift since he got inserted into the starting lineup in here in his freshman season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mike does a lot of things for us offensively. And he, he, by being a great shooter on the perimeter, he allows things to happen for the other guys too, where uh, the defense uh, spreads out the defense a little bit. Uh, with his shooting ability and uh, makes everyone better offensively. So we're glad to have him. Uh, we're happy he's shooting the ball well. Um, and, and, you know, like I said, he makes everyone better by uh, being a shooter on the perimeter. Well, four-game losing streak now. You head into Bentley on Wednesday, another tough test, but you got it here at home, a chance to snap this four-game losing streak, get back on the winning track. What's it going to take to snap the slide and get a win on Wednesday? Bentley's a lot like these guys. They like to shoot threes. Uh, five guys on the floor can shoot, and... Uh, we're just going to have to come out better uh, defensively and ready to get out and contest shots and, uh, and help on the uh, drives. So uh, if we do that, we should be okay. All right, Coach, thanks again for Thank the time. You. Assistant Coach Sean Lawless following a 97-78 loss. The Panthers fall to 4-10 and overall and 1-7 and in the NE10. They'll next be in action here at home at the CRS Wednesday night, 5.30 start for the women, 7.30 for the men. You can watch it here on aupanthers.tv. For Jim Pittman, I'm Kevin Dexter. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday evening.